51 I am back, yes I am back, sorry I haven't been posting videos lately, just been on vacation, and sorry about the lighting as well, I'll just do as for it for right now. So I thought for this welcome back video, I thought I would do a top 20 city of tweaks, so if you guys aren't jailbroken, links are in the description. As well as the tweak names and sources that you need will be linked in the description as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So coming in number one is Anemone. So what Anemone lets you do, lets you theme your device. So as you see, I'm running a theme here. So the theme that I'm running is Vexilum or Vexilum, however you want to say it. I also got Muse 3 and Mint, as you see there. So my favorite one is Vexilum, so that's why I'm using it. So that is an enemy. Coming in number two is Artsy. So what Artsy is, is kind of like color flow. So as you see here, it puts the album artwork in the background. If we go ahead and change songs here, it also change, it also puts the album artwork in the background. It also works in the control center here, as you see. And it also works in the lock screen. So as you see, so Artsy works with Spotify, it works with SoundCloud, it also works with the default stock music app. So that is Artsy right there. Coming in number 3 is Better CC 11. So as you saw in my control center when I pulled it up here, as you see, so I can change the width and height for the connectivity as well as the media, as well as for the weather. So the weather is due to your current location. So that is better CC11. So coming in number four is BioProtect. So what BioProtect does lets you lock applications from prying eyes or prying fingers. So let's just say I want to get into my messages. As you see here, I have to put in my Touch ID. Same with my camera, as you see. Same if I want to put my device into wiggle mode. As you see here, if I put in Touch ID. As you see, now I can move around my icon, so that is BioProtect. Coming in number 5 is Aerofy, so what Aerofy does, it gets rid of that annoying volume HUD in the middle of your screen, it puts it up in the status bar as you see here, so you can have it in the center, the left, or the right, so by default it's in the center, so by default it's in the center, so you, can, you also can change the color of it, so it's pretty cool, so that's Aerofy. Coming in number six is circle icons. So what circle icons is? It gives you that circle. Gives you so if you jump into settings, as you see, it gives you that circle icons in your settings. So that is circle icons. Coming in number seven is cylinder. So what cylinder is? Is a page animation. As you see, whenever I switch through pages. So that is cylinder. So let's jump into settings here and show you my effect. So let's go to effects, and then for the first effect that I'm using is Harlem Shake, as you see there. And then for number two is Page Fade, and for number three is Stay Put combined with others. So that is Cylinder right there. So what I like about Cylinder is you can have more than one effect. With Barrel, you only use one effect, so... Plus Cylinders for free, so yeah. So coming in number 8 is simple LS iOS, which I do not have installed, but I thought I would include it in this video. So what simple LS iOS is, it gives you a simple lock screen. So you get your time and date on the left, you get your weather on the right. So the weather is due to your current location, so you don't need to enter in any codes in files. Uh, if you guys don't know what files uh, is, it's kind of like iFiles, so... So that is simple LS iOS. Coming in number 9 is Evanesco. So let's jump into the settings here to enable it. So what Evanesco is, is if you do not interact with your icons, your icons would fade. So let's, let's go ahead and take a look. So as you see here, my icons have fade. Now I can stare at my wallpaper. So that's Evanesco, so here's the settings here, so you get your enable switch, you get fade dock background, fade status bar, 
you also get the seconds before fade so by default it's six I bumped it down to four so that is Evanesco right there coming number 10 is flat safari URL so what that is it gives you a flat URL bar in your safari as you see here didn't mean to do that so as you see it gives you a flat URL bar in your safari if you put it in landscape as you see it's still flat so that's what flat safari URL is so coming in number 11 is iCleaner Pro so what iCleaner Pro does it lets you clean out the unnecessary files that's on your device so if you're running low on storage you can use iCleaner to clean out all the junk that's on your device and it gives you back storage so that's iCleaner Pro coming in number 12 is IntelliX so what IntelliX is is group notifications <clears throat> I don't have any notifications so as you can see so I can't show you but so you know how on iOS 12 you get group notification well with IntelliX you can get group notifications as well so that is IntelliX coming in number 13 is lithium ion so what lithium ion is it themes your battery so as you take a look at my battery icon right there so as you see it it has a different theme as you see there so you can so you can choose different themes so the one that I'm using is the ion charge so that's lithium ion coming in number 14 is pull to respring so if we jump into the settings here and then if we pull down it will respring our device which I do not want to do that right now so that is pull to respring coming in number 15 is shy page dots so what shy page dots is it hides your page dots as you see and if you interact as you see your page dots reappear if you don't interact as you see they disappear again so that is shy page dots coming in number 16 is smooth cursor so what smooth cursor is it gives you that microsoft office cursor as you see there so that is smooth cursor Coming in number 17 is Zeppelin. So what Zeppelin is, it themes your carrier text. So normally you it would say your carrier up here, but I have Zeppelin installed as you see. So if we jump into the settings here, you get a lot to choose from. You can download more Insidia. So if I want the Apple one, as you see. Or if I want the Beats one, which is pretty cool, as you see. So... The one that I'm using is this one right here, it's the B-I-T-C-H one. I also have the YOLO one. So it's pretty cool as you see. I also have the Tesla one. Or if you don't want anything, you can just put it on none. And then it will show nothing, but I'm going to be using this one right here. So that's my favorite one right there as you see. So that's Zeppelin. <clears throat> coming in number 18 is Noctis 11 so what Noctis 11 is is dark mode so as you see you get a control center toggle here so if we go ahead and toggle it on <coughs> sorry about that folks so as you see if we take a look at my dock it's dark if we jump into a folder it's dark if we go to the widgets as you see it's dark and if you get notifications it will be dark as well so if we so if we open up settings here, as you see it's dark. If we open up the phone app, as you see it's dark as well. So that is Noctis 11. So what I like about it is you get a control center toggle here. So now it's back to normal. Oh yes, I forgot to show you. If you go ahead and enable it. And if you put your device in, if you 3D touch, as you see it's dark as well. So that's... So that's Noctis 11 right there, coming. So coming in number 19 is Real CC. So what Real CC does, you know how on stock iOS you go to turn off Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. It does not completely disable. With Real CC, you can completely disable Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So if we jump into settings here. As you see, my Wi-Fi is completely disabled, so that's due to real CC. 
So coming in number 20 is Clean Home Screen. So what Clean Home Screen does is you can hide your app. You can hide your icon label. So you can hide lots of things. So let's jump into the settings here. So you can hide notification badges, dock background, app names, which is the icon labels. You can hide home screen page dots, status bar, lock screen page dots, unlock text, lock screen date, notification center hints, iPhone 10 lock screen floating buttons. But there, sorry my camera stopped recording, so I was on clean home screen. So yeah, so you can hide lots of things. So let's go ahead and take a look. So I have my icon labels hidden as you can see. If we go to the lock screen here, I have my unlock text hidden as well as the page dots as you see. So that is my top 20 Cydia tweaks. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, give this video a big thumbs up. It helps me out on this channel. Make sure to follow me on all my social medias. Links are in the description. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also turn on my bell notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Peace.